if you've ever spent much time around children, you'll know that some of them have uh, more difficulty than others listening to what they're told. We've got a reward chart in our house for both of our kids. And one of the categories on there is for them to listen first time. And what we mean by that is not that they just listen, like anyone can hear something, but that they listen to what we're asking them to do and they act on what we're asking them to do. Some days are better than others, but they're, they're doing okay. It occurred to me this morning, I was looking at the chart, that actually God expects the same of us. It took me to James chapter one, verse 22, and James, as he's writing in here, reminds us this, he says, be doers of the word and not just hearers only, deceiving yourselves. James is saying it is easy to hear the word of God. It's easy to, to read God's word and just to close the book, put it on the shelf and forget about it. But in doing that, we're deceiving ourselves. We're kidding ourselves that we are who we say we are. True believers, James is saying, true Christians, people who've been truly rooted in Christ, are people that will bear fruit in Christ. We will hear God's word and we will do it. We will walk in obedience. We won't just close the book, but we will seek to live by it each day. Can I encourage us today then, as we're in God's word, in whatever way that, that is for you, whatever that looks like for you, would you not just hear the words of God today, but would you do it as well? And as you do it, would you be someone who truly bears the fruit of Christ's work in your life? We do that with the help of God, by the power of his Holy Spirit. Have a great weekend, folks. Look forward to speaking to you again next week.